What is going on, miners, and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, as the title says, today we're going to go ahead and talk about how to mine Ergo on your gaming PC. Well, this is my gaming PC. I thought I'd share it with you guys. I'd love for you guys to comment down below with the stats on your gaming rig and the one that you want to go ahead and mine with. So my gaming rig has a AMD Ryzen 9 3900X. And that big cooler on the side there, that's a Cooler Master ML360R. And that's an AI, AIO liquid cooler. The motherboard is an Asus Tough Gaming X570. Now, the memory there is the G-Skill Trident Z series, 32 gigabyte. And uh, yes, there are some red, some yellow. I purchased first the original 16 and then the second 16. So that's why there's red and yellow. And my crown jewel is the EVGA GeForce RTX 2080 Super. I love this thing. It is a beast and has an insanely large heat sink on it. Perfect for mining. Uh, the case is the Cooler Master Masterbox TD500. I love this case. This is a ATX mid tower. And finally at the bottom, if you spotted it, yes, that is an Elgato HD60 Pro. And that one does 1080 at 60 FPS. All right, guys, let's go ahead and dive into how to mine Ergo on your gaming PC. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get started. So there are two things that you're going to want to go ahead and download and then pause this video uh, while you're doing that. So let's go ahead and open up our browser. So the first one is going over to trex-miner.com. I'll put this down below in the description. I recommend that you don't download this from anywhere else other than this website, uh, just for legitimacy and just for safety, exploits, anything like that. So come over here, trex-miner.com, click on download, and then go ahead and select Windows and download the miner. Now, this is, it might give you a warning within Google Chrome. If you go ahead and click download, it's going to pop up and then it may ask you to keep it or it may give you a warning like it does here. Just go ahead and click the arrow in the bottom left and just click keep. And then that'll go ahead and disregard the warning from Google Chrome. The second thing you want to do is go over to MSI's website. So I'll put a link down below for this. MSI.com slash landing slash afterburner slash graphics dash cards. This is a software based tool that allows you to overclock uh, your graphics card. So head on over, download T-Rex Miner, download MSI Afterburner. Feel free to pause this video if need be. Alrighty, so now we are set and ready to go. We have T-Rex Miner downloaded right here on our desktop, still uh, is zipped. And then we also have MSI Afterburner installed. So our the last thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and get your Ergo wallet address. I went ahead and put it on notepad file for me just in this video situation to go ahead and make it easily accessible. I do not recommend that you save it on your computer in a notepad file in any way, shape or form. This is just for the video. If you're looking to find out how to set up an Ergo wallet, I will put a video in the upper right hand corner of a uh, one that I did several months back. It's simple, it's easy, it takes five minutes to set up. So if you need to, once again, pause this part of the video, go watch that part of the video to set up your Ergo wallet and then stop back over here when it's convenient for you. So to get started, we're gonna go ahead and right click on T-Rex Miner and go to extract. We're gonna extract it right to the desktop for the presentation purposes here. Once that is finished, you can see that you can use T-Rex Miner to mine all different types of coins. For today, we're going to go ahead and be working with Ergo-NanoPool. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on that one and go to edit. This is going to go ahead and give you a Windows warning. Just hit more info and run anyway. Now you can see that we do have the minor details up and running here. It's telling us it's running t-rex.exe. It's running the Auto Lycos 2 algorithm. It is mining to the Ergo EU pool. So that's something that you may want to go ahead and change there if you're uh, able to, to NA or whatever pool's best for you. We'll go ahead over and take a look at nanopool.org here in just a minute. And then this is the wallet address that you want to change. If you start mining on this, 
you're mining for to someone else completely free. I believe that's the developer's address uh, for T-Rex Miner. So we're going to go ahead and load up our uh, notepad file. Here is our Ergo wallet. We're going to copy that. We're going to come down here. We're going to highlight just that up to the period. We're going to go ahead and delete it. And then we're going to paste in our address there. Once that's finished, we're going to go ahead and hit save just to go ahead and save that. And we're done with that wallet address. We can come over here on the left hand side and let's delete that. We do not need that stored anywhere just to go ahead, ahead and be safe. So we went ahead and selected to mine Ergo on Nanopool. So let's go ahead and load up our browser and go over to nanopool.org. Once we're over here, you can see that we can use nanopool.org to mine a variety of different coins. For today, we're going ahead and talking about Ergo. So let's go ahead and load up Ergo there. We now have Ergo's site up and running. Up top here at pools, you can select the pool and then you can select Ergo. And that will bring you to this site as well if you need to. And then down below, you can see here a list of the different connection types. Types Here's Europe, here's USA, and here's other. Select the one that's most relevant for you. In my situation, I'm going to go ahead and select Ergo US East one nanopoolorg as I am located in Pennsylvania. Let's go ahead and bring back up our batch file here. And we're going to go ahead and just replace this address with the address that we just went ahead and discussed. So I went ahead and replaced it, ergo-us-east1.nanopool.org. Now I'm going to flip back over here just to go ahead and take a look. There are two different uh, ones that you can go with. I'm going to go with SSL just for security purposes. So we're going to highlight that, 11433, and we're going to bring back up our notepad file here for the batch file and replace the port. Now we're set and good to go. We've replaced the wallet address and we've made sure that we're mining directly to the closest pool possible. We're going to save this. Next thing we're going to do is close out of this. We can minimize this. And now we're back to all the different batch files that are available to us. So my first test is, is I want to go ahead and mine without making any overclock settings. So we're going to go ahead and double click on this. It's going to go ahead and run this batch file. I'm going to put it off to the side here and we'll give it a minute. Okay, so I had to pause the video. I was getting some errors there. It wasn't able to connect to the pool. So I went ahead and loaded back up our page here, found that 11433 was not working for me. I was missing a step there. So to save on time, I went ahead and swapped over to the 11111. So let me show you exactly what we did while we're waiting for that to go ahead and load up. So within here, I went ahead and right clicked on our Ergo Nano Pool. I went to edit and I made sure that this right here was 11111 versus what we had before, which was 11433. So I saved it and then reran it. So on the right hand side here, we're going to go ahead and start to uh, build out this DAG file for ourselves. This does take some time before it goes ahead and gets started. Be patient, let it go ahead and run. In the meantime, there's a few things I wanted to show you. So there is actually a website dashboard. So you can leave this up and load up this website dashboard. So you can go to http colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 colon 4067 slash T-Rex if you're interested. So once you come to that website, you can see that this is actually the website right on your computer. And uh, it's going ahead and getting started here. So I can click the graph button. And what this is going to show you is a nice GUI to go ahead and monitor how your rig is doing. So it tells you the active pool. It tells you how much power you're using based off of this. And we're actually going to hook this to a voltage meter at the end. We also have our hash rate here, which is 56.97. This is without any overclock settings. And uh, it goes ahead and shows you the consistency. So... This is a fun tool to keep up. Look at that, it even has dark mode, which is great. So our next step is, uh, before we get into overclocking, is if you want to monitor this on nanopool.org, to find our yeah nanopool.org to find out, you know, like, hey, when am I getting paid? What is the pool saying I'm doing? What you'll need there is you'll need to go ahead and right click and go to edit, and then take your wallet address, copy it, open up, nanopool.org 
And in the upper right hand corner, you see how it says address? Click there and paste your address in there and hit search. Now, we don't have a lot of information in here. We just started mining back on here. So it's going to take some time. But you can see down below here, uh, you can start to see it starting to populate within here. So give it some time and uh, it will start to populate the information in here. You can see what your balance is for Ergo. So I have a balance of 4.549 um, Ergo available to us here. Each pool pays out at different increments. So do your research to determine when does this pool pay out. For here, look at the top. Minimum payout is five ergo. So the ergo amount that you see here will sit at in nanopool.org until it hits five ergo per the minimum. Then it's going to transfer to your ergo wallet. So don't start mining today and then go, wait, why wasn't I paid today? Unless you earn five ergo a day, you're not going to be paid until you hit that five mark. Coming back here, it looks like, as we said, we're right around 55, 56 mega hash. Let's go ahead and change that. So our next step is to go ahead and load up that other program I asked you to download, which is MSI Afterburner. MSI Afterburner is up and running. Now, this is something that I recommend you do some research out there to find out, do some Googling, look up, you know, the, the, what card you have for me. It's the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Super and look up overclock settings for MSI Afterburner for mining. Ergo has very similar overclock settings to Ethereum. Now, there is an address that I want you guys to check out if you need additional help at figuring out what overclock settings to use for mining Ergo. Let me go ahead and load that up. Okay, so this address I'm going to put down below as well. A lot of helpful tools that we'll list down below in the description, so make sure you check it out. This is a Ergo Miner's hash rate and GPU settings populated by the community. So this is a great spot to get started. Let's say I have a 2080, which is what we have. You can scroll down under GPU series, find your card, and then I can see from 110 down to 114 that there are a number of entries for the card that I have, and it has different recommendations for different ones to try. So you can kind of play with this a little bit, see what works best for you um, in regards to you know what miner you're using and, and, and allows you to see what the core clock is, what the memory clock is, what the power is. So this gives you a good launching point. But remember, every GPU is different. Even if you and I have the exact same card bought on the exact same day, purchased from the exact same batch, our cards will hash differently. Maybe not dramatically differently, but they'll hash a little bit differently. So now that we're in here, I've gone ahead and done some testing before this video. So let me go ahead and load up the overclock settings that I found work best for my 2080. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to be going ahead and setting my core clock to negative 502. I'm going to be setting my memory clock to plus 1500. I'm going to be setting my power limit to 50. And other than that, we are set. I'm going to undo the lock here just to make sure that that's in there. I'm going to increase my temp limit uh, to 85 just to be safe. And then I'm also going to come down here and change my fan speed just to 100% while we're doing this. Now that everything is good to go, I'm going to go ahead and apply it. And now what we want to pay attention to, guys, is on the right-hand side here, uh, we want to go ahead and give it a minute. It's reloading T-Rex Miner. We had talked about our hash rate being between 50 and 56. If we come up top here. Yep. And Okay, so our last one was 57.49. And the power was 164. So let's go ahead here and give it a minute. It's going to go ahead and build this all back up. It takes some time to get started. And our goal is to see, can we cut down our power? and increase our hash rate. The ultimate goal as a miner when you're overclocking a card is to get the most hash rate of the least amount of power possible. So let's go ahead and give this a minute to go ahead and load and we'll check back to see what our hash rate and power is. Okay guys, so I got some quick overclock settings in here. Uh, I changed things up a little bit and I want to show you guys. So on the right hand side here, you can see in red, can't find, um, 
uh, no no wants with device, and it gives the GPU zero CUDA exception. Uh, it gives you a CUDA error, illegal address. Try to reduce overclock settings for GPU stability. So this is an example, and I wanted to force the card to go ahead and have some problems so that you guys could see what that looks like. When that occurs, come in and try different overclock settings. Uh, one, as I said, one set of overclock settings is not going to work for all cards. That is super important. You may find that the miner just crashes. Uh, you may find that your video driver crashes, your computer reboots. So keep that in mind so you guys know what to look for. Taking a look here, you can see that we went from 57 to 73. Uh, so we're at 73 mega hash at 124 watts. This card has the potential to go even higher if we're interested. Um, there are some that have reported around 80 to 85 to 87 mega hash with this card. So there's plenty of potential. As I said before, your goal should be the most amount of hash rate for the least amount of watts possible. If we go back over to our uh, localized T-Rex miner here, you can see that this is reporting some more information here, reporting some more stability here, which is great. If you jump over to Nanopool, you can go ahead and refresh on Nanopool. You can see here, it's starting to show some progress. So it allows you guys to start to see what actual hash rate the pool is reporting, which is what you get paid off of at the end. So keep an eye on what the pool is reporting. That is definitely the most important. Well, guys, this was a supposed to be a quick short video on mining on your gaming rig uh, Ergo. If you uh, guys have any comments or questions, please leave them down below in the comment section. Don't forget in the description, I put links to all of the items that we discussed today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.